In this video guide to regular expressions, I will discuss alternation. First, let's discuss what alternation is and why it's useful. This is an example of a regular expression that uses an alternation. It will either match the word cat or the word dog. You could say that alternation is used whenever there is more than one alternative for the string you want to match. Here is a diagram that shows the control flow graph of how a regular expression engine could interpret this regex. In this case, the regular expression matcher starts at the begin node and moves to the split node, where it effectively splits control into two possible paths. First, it tries to match the path with the word cat. If this fails, it tries to match the other path with the word dog. If neither path has a match, control moves to the failure node, and the search will either restart and continue with the next character, or fail completely if it's already reached the end of the text being searched. You can also specify more than two possible alternatives by separating them all with the vertical line or pipe symbol. Since alternation can be thought of as a list of alternatives, it's worth comparing it to the character class. As we saw in the first part of this series, the character class can be thought of as a list of possible characters that can appear at a specific position in our string. Regardless of what you put inside a character class, the entire class can only match a single character in your search string. With alternation, each possible alternative on either side of the pipe symbol can be any number of characters. Since the alternatives in an alternation can be a variable number of characters, it's common to use parentheses to define the start and end position for the list of alternatives. For example, this regular expression will match any of the following strings. However, if we didn't use the parentheses and wrote this regex instead, the first and last choices in the alternation would have included the very start and the very end of the regular expression, which isn't what we want here. The presence of spaces has no effect on the alternation, since they're just another part of the pattern that will be searched for. Here is a list of strings that would match this alternation. Any part of a regular expression that's inside parentheses is commonly referred to as a subexpression or also as a group. Subexpressions also have a number of other important features and uses that will not be discussed at this time. A very common use case for alternation is to match suffixes or prefixes in words. For example, this regular expression will match several different variations of the word employ. At its core, alternation is actually quite simple. In fact, it's probably correct to say that it's easier to understand alternation than it is to understand character classes. There is, however, one caveat that you should be aware of to avoid surprises. If one of the choices in your alternation is a prefix of another, your regex may not always match the same thing in every regular expression engine. For example, consider this alternation. It contains both the word cat and the word caterpillar. Since cat is a prefix of the word caterpillar, there can be ambiguity about which alternative to match. In most modern regular expression engines, the part of the alternation that will match is simply the first choice that matches, starting from the left, moving towards the right. This means that the order in which you specify options in the alternation may affect which option will be chosen. If we pass the text, the cat likes to play with the caterpillar, with the regex shown above through grep, using Perl compatible regular expression mode, in this case, it will only match the word cat twice. However, if we rearrange the ordering of the alternation so that caterpillar is the first option, we'll be able to match the word cat and the word caterpillar. Now, if we change from using Perl compatible mode to POSIX-based extended regular expression mode by changing grep's command line flag from P to E, the result is the same no matter what the ordering is of the choices in the alternation. This is because POSIX-based regular expression engines are required to always try all possible options in an alternation and pick the longest match. Since all of these details can be confusing and hard to remember, if you simply make sure that the longest possible alternation choices are placed first in the alternation, then you should be able to avoid this ambiguity, even if you don't know whether you're using a perl like or POSIX-like regular expression engine. If possible, I would also recommend avoiding POSIX-based regular expression engines when you can. The POSIX regular expression standards are much older and less well-defined than newer Perl-based ones.